Good evening. Welcome. My name is Obinda. I want to share with you today what I call learning to be a man. And the subtitle is the duties of a man. Learning to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> learning to be a man and if you learn to be a man it will be shown it will be shown in your sense of responsibilities the duties that you you are aware that as a man there are yours I think that Nations that are dominated easily, nations that go through perpetual struggle and poverty and lack, are nations that have their men still learning how to be men. They are nations that struggle to raise the men to, to take up their responsibilities and their challenges. In any family, if the man knows that he's a man and he knows his responsibilities, he knows what it takes to be a man, the family succeeds. The family gets things rightly done. If the man is not aware that he's a man and he's not conscious of his responsibilities and he's not up to tax, the family goes through a lot of trouble. It's not because the women don't have what it takes. It's not like that. But I think every 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 one of us have our own duties. You know, the men uh, have their duty, and the women have their duty as well. And so when the when the duties and the responsibilities are clearly defined and separated, if they have to be. And the men stand up to be men. A lot of things get done easily. So, if a man is not, if a man does not know who he is, he will not be up to. You know, he will not be able to perform his duties. A man must know himself before he can know his duty, his responsibilities. He must know his asset. He must know why he was was made as a man. The things that he's been gifted, the things that have been put in him as a man, before he'll be able to deliver his duties. They say that the generation that are coming, how would they be able to take care of the family and you know, and the marriages, based on the choices that we, we see going around. Most of these young men. You can see that a lot of them have not been taught how to be a man. To be a man is not just because you were born with some kind of apparatus, but to be a man is is a position. And you don't just get to that position, you are equipped, you are trained. And somebody should have trained you. If you had a father, your father should have prepared you to be a man if you had a a male somebody to look up to he will be and he was present and he was teaching you to prepare you to be a man it's like the way they prepare kings or the the way they groom people to take up positions it's not just because you're born a male it means that you're a man and you know your duties there are things that we must know at least to be able to take up the challenge and the responsibilities that come with being a man because a lot (laughs) is expected of the men and that's why a lot of men when the responsibility is very high uh, or the responsibilities are very much uh, there are many they run away because they were not trained to be men it comes with a lot of training, it comes with a lot of information. You don't just jump up to say that I'm a man. And it doesn't even come up because you, you, you married. You know, you, you took a woman 
you're married, you have children, they call you father, dada, and, and that you're a man. No. It is defined in the responsibilities and the challenges that you take up. And so if you're if you're not aware of the responsibilities and the challenges, you may be there acting like one, but you may not be one. And so you 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 would have to be you should have been brought up and you should have been told how to be a man. <laughs> a man. And uh, there's a lot of expectation. Society has groomed us with a lot of expectation as men. There's a lot. That's why when you see when there is a mistake and a girl gets they say it's a mistake, I don't know. But when a girl gets pregnant without a husband, the woman is carrying the baby, all right. But they still ask the lady who is responsible. <laughs> Somebody else is responsible for this. Who is he? Where is he? So a man must know his duties. And I'm going to list some few things that I think I know. There may be thousand one of them. But I think the basic ones, if you know them, uh, you should be able to be fine. And so um, you should know that the, the base of the family, the base of the family, that which everything falls on, is the man. If you happen to have a wife and children, you are that which they look up to. And that becomes a bit uh, strenuous. And so if you are not told, if you are not given information, and every one of them is looking up to you, and they come every day, they come every day, you say that, why? Why are you worrying me? Because you've been structured to take that role. They look up to you for inspiration, for wisdom, for knowledge, for understanding. It must come out of you. When you are present at home, they feel your presence. When everything is collapsing on the family, when there is a situation, when there are challenges, when there is lack, when there is a sickness, something that was not expected, when there is an accident, when there's death, something, they look for the man. They look for the man. So you are the strength that they have to <laughs> follow. Now, it is almost depressing for a young man who didn't have a father to look up to or an uncle to look to, to look up to, or some elderly person who, who could inspire him. And then he gets to be 30 and they say that you have a wife, you know, he marries. And he was not made aware of this. You'll be the one who will see the wife as the same in terms of responsibilities. <laughs> Even if you don't have a job, you're still the man. You don't have money, you stay the man. A man must have a fighting spirit. He must be the one to create the, the confidence, create the hope, the aspirations. He must be the one that they look up to. You have to create that stability at home. So if you were not told, you would think that it is the woman's responsibility. You could be doing that because they didn't teach you that nobody, and I know of course nobody taught us. So until you were trying to find the things yourself, you know, you started to read, you started to research, you may never know that you are, <laughs> you have got to learn how to be a man. And it doesn't matter, some people are 17 years, they still don't know how to be. It's not a matter of age. Responsibility hardly has a lot to do with uh, age. It has a lot to do with maturity. 
and maturity has a lot to do with information. And so, when there's problem, you are the one to stand up. You are the one to provide that, <laughs> which makes the people or the family or the society feel like somebody is present to put up and face the threats and the challenges. If there has to be any provision of anything, we are wired in terms of our brain, in terms of our structure to do that. Just as the woman is wired to carry a baby for nine months, the man is, is created to do that. But he has to do that with information, with training, with skill. Somebody should have told him that this is, well, if you're born as a man, these are the things that you do. These are your responsibilities. These are your duties. Whether you even have a wife or not a wife. There are things that the man must be responsible. <laughs> but if you didn't have anybody to teach you, you may never, you may never find them out. Or you may find them, but it will be late. That's why you can see there are a lot of, you know, dysfunctional, they call them dysfunctional, dysfunctional hopes. There are a lot of divorces, or there are a lot of frustrations in, in, in families, in marriages, because the man has not been taught to be a man, or he's not learned to be a man, or didn't have anybody to look up to who showed him a good example of how to be a man. Maybe when you're a young boy, your uncles will send you to go and call some girl. Or they'll send you to go and do some things. And they taught you that that is how to be a man. <laughs> so they, they send you to go and call one girl. <laughs> send you to go and get another girl. So in your head, you think that once you're, you're lying to the girls, it means that you're a man. Maybe it's part. But that was just a game. Okay? Playing with people's heart. But to be a man comes with your ability to provide some kind of security for society, for the family, for that which is entrusted to your hands. Provisions, finances, security. You are the ones to provide. You are the one, the man. Yes, you are the one to provide. You've told us. How do you provide when you don't have a job, when you don't have money? <laughs> oh, you still have the capacity to do that because it is it is the way you are you're wired. Anything that comes out of your mouth in the family can be picked and groomed and built. But if you're not aware that that is naturally in you, it's as when a woman hears something, the woman can brood on it and the woman can just expand something with it. Just you know, the any inspiration that a woman gets. She can multiply it. It's, it's easier for them to do that. It's in their nature. The same with the man. You're wired, you're structured to provide something, to provide stability, to provide the finances, to take care of the family, to provide leadership, to, to, to provide innovation, to come out with, with solutions. That's the man. To create the future to make the home fun and the temperature low. When the man is absent, you can see it. Usually, let's say if you have a son. When he comes from school, he's looking for, where's my father? <laughs> because he's trying to look for somebody to look up to, to become a man. But it's very difficult to be a man if you didn't have good examples. And a lot of us didn't have good examples. Even if the father was at home, he himself probably is coming from um, the father had three wives. Nobody paid attention to him. He didn't, they, they didn't teach him. So he probably just got one, one sense of duty. 
that's it but there are so many duties that a man must provide especially with this so-called modern family modern society so the boys are marrying but do they have they learned how to be men do they know their their duties their responsibilities because until you know them then then leading the family becomes a tough and difficult responsibility that's why people become exhausted and stressed and frustrated and some of them depressed because they've not been equipped to lead it's like the, the the guys who go to war the military you know the people who go to war the, the man who's leading the the, the the troop to war and he was not trained <laughs> Danger. and so the man must be trained and usually in a perfect condition a man should have been trained by the father to protect to lead to provide to educate the man must express wisdom the man expresses the confidence of the family when he's present the home should become the man must, must know that that if anybody can give excuse if the man was brought up properly and there's nothing in the home to to eat or in the house to eat a man who was prepared will jump up and go and look for something but if you're not prepared as a man your fighting spirit is low our usual response will be what do you expect me to do because you were not told how to be men. You were never told how to be men. So the woman is looking up to you, the children are looking up to you, and you are dead depressed, you don't know what to do. Because nobody told you that when it comes to the last bit, the last hope, you, the man, must stand up and provide. And you cannot be the one complaining and fighting can be the one that who, who, the, the person who brings the calmness who creates the hope when there's desperation in any situation when you the man you are there you're able to bring clarity you're able to bring solutions you're able to bring you go, you're able to create the future because it's in you as a man but we learn them and it's not chemistry, it's not physics. <laughs> it's being a man. So the societies that are easily overcome and captured are societies that the men have not been groomed to be men. And so, and so they can come and take, you know, hostage of the children and of the women. And the men will not be aware. And that's why you can see that a lot of women live uh, under a lot of stress and pressure, especially when they get married. You know, the marriage is just, the, the nice, nice things is just a wedding day. And the guests don't even know it. It's, the, it's just a wedding day. One week after the wedding, <laughs> if they have a man, the pressure will be there. Or if he's yet to learn how to be a man, the pressure will be there. The, the issues of life, the confusion, the problems, the challenges, the finances, the future that you have to create together, the career, the profession, the education, the children, the family, the society, the man must create it. The man must lead it. The man must provide it. And if the man was not taught, to even be hard for him to go and look for a job so if, if he was not taught he's not a fighter he's looking for a job they tell him that oh we don't have any job one he goes to one place and he gives up so he, he's not learned how to be a man a man must have a fighting spirit a man must stand up to the position meet the enemy on the gate at the gate fight a man must create the peace. <laughs> uh, 
as though if they did not tell you which obviously they did not tell me and it will take you a while for you to find that out and so you 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 started you know you're just 15 20 you started life and thinking that to be a man is to chase the girls <laughs> And if you could sleep with the girls, it means that you're a man. Maybe. But that is not so. To be a man is a responsibility. It's a tough duty. And you must first know yourself. You must know yourself as a man. You must know who you are. You must know your strength. You must know what you can do with your life in this life. You must know what you are about. Set things. You cannot be in confusion and, and bring another person into your life. You know, they say they, because they didn't, they didn't want us to, you know, do other things. They said that, hey, when you are 20 years, go and marry. And you may be as confused as anything about where your future is even going. You must know yourself. You must know your responsibility. You must know what a man, what it takes to be a man. And dating girls and sleeping with girls and sleep, and taking other girlfriends does not mean that you're a man. No. It does not mean that. So when they when they expect when there are a lot of expectation. When your mother is expecting a lot from you, when your father is expecting a lot from you, when the society is expecting a lot from you, when your wife is expecting a lot from you, when your children are expecting a lot from you, you cannot go down. Because you are the man. <laughs> you must stand up. And you have what it takes to be a man. You have it. It's just the awareness. Just the awareness. And so when they are trying to share the duties and the responsibilities between the wife and the husband, I don't think it's really the case. But it's tough because a lot of us were not told. You know, so we start to learn it very late. And if the women were to wait for us, it will be over. And so they are trash into the man's duty. Women are forced to take a lot beyond what they can take because the men that they happen to have were not brought up as men. And so, when they give birth to the women, a lot of them even impregnate the, uh, the women, they never show up again. And when the child is around 30 years, they say that it's my child. <laughs> you think that. Just because you got a woman pregnant makes you a man. No, no, it doesn't. It's a sense of responsibility. It's a sense of duty. So to be a man, you must provide the vision. You must provide the wisdom, the knowledge for the society, for the family. The man must lead. When they were coming to capture Africa into slavery, it was their men. And it is our men who fought. If the men have been brought out to be men, they fight to protect the women and the children. They provide for the women and the children. They provide security. They provide knowledge, understanding. They don't complain. They don't share the duties with the women. Don't say that, what do you expect me to do? You are the man, you must provide the solution. You are the man, you, are the man, you must lead. You say that you are the head of the family. <laughs> what do you think the head is? The head must carry everything. All the burden. All the pain. You are actually the stability, the foundation of the family. Everything, all the load. Or the, or, or the <laughs> if the if he's weak, the family is weak. If he's weak, the family is weak. That's why families where the men the men are not pre present, 
we see that the the children easily go to smoke weed the boys and the girls easily get into the wrong hands because there was no man even if the father is present and he didn't have money and he was just involved in the family do you see how the, the children grow up with some bit of character some bit of strength some bit of courage even if the father was not rich he was just uh, just trying to be a good father so he was maybe he was a laborer or he was a construction worker he just tries to be involved in the family he, he, he works to provide whatever maybe they are sacking from the school you know school fees for the school fees every day but he still goes to the farm he still goes to work and bring something those kind of families they may not be rich they may even be living in a single room but because the man is determined to say that I want to be here. It's not only that the children end up trying to do fairly well, but they also get some bit of stability. They are strong. They're courageous. But if the father had money, but he was never involved in the children, or the, or in, the, in the lives of the children, and he just the woman who was there trying to struggle to bring the children up, Usually, the energy in the men sends them off into the bad road. And the girls don't become that much controlled. Or until the woman becomes that much hard, and which is not the natural tendency of a woman. She will become, she will become that much difficult to just, to, just to keep the children uh, uh, on the right track. But for the man, he may not even say anything. And the, and, the, and the boy will know that the father is present. So he has to behave. When he goes out, he has to come in. Because <laughs> he knows that the, the man is in the house. That's the man. His presence alone provides that calmness, that, rest, that sense of belonging, that sense of responsibility. And that's the duty of a man. So when if you, if you get, get pregnant, don't run away. <laughs> Show up as a man. Take your take 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 the situation and correct it. Be there, correct it. Say that yes, I'm responsible. I'm going to make sure that wherever I show up as a man, there is some bit of calmness, some some bit of you know protection. That's the sense of a man. So when a man has been trained and brought up well, wherever he goes, you see order. You see things growing well. You see things developing well. There is peace. Because he's brought up as a man. He doesn't go to just break things and go away. It's not the one smoking the weed. He's thinking that he's a man. The man brings solutions. The man must learn how to take risk. And fight for the progress of society, of the family. That's just in the man. The man must go out and fight. But he was not brought up to be a man. He's afraid of risk. He doesn't want to go out to fight. In the olden days, the hunters were what? Were the men. The man must put his neck <laughs> or lie. He could be shot and killed. But that's the man. He takes the bullet for the family. So somebody comes to the, you know, somebody comes home knocking on the door. Trying to create confusion. Who should, who should go and meet the man? It's the man in the, in the house. So when the man is trained and has learned to be a man, there is peace in the soul of the woman in the house. There's calmness. Whenever you see a woman frustrated, depressed, angry, distressed, trouble. It's because the man in her life has refused to be one, to be a man, or didn't learn how to be a man. And it's not easy stuff to be a man. Yet, the women are looking up to you. The children are looking up to you. Everybody looks up to you. What I can say is that most men think that the only reason to be a man is to provide um, um, the, the finances. It's a major part, but that's not the only. 
thing. The family must re represent your reason, your wisdom, your knowledge. They must represent your understanding. The children must be taught by you. And if you don't know it, what are you going to teach? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know it, you are going to teach them. What are you going to teach if you don't know it? If you're always watching football and comedy, you have got to teach them about life, about God, about who they are, about money, about women, about respect, about career. They look up to you for everything. You, sh you should be the man to teach them. You have to be. They look up to you. It's in you to teach. But what kind of information do you have to go and teach them? <laughs> what are you going to teach if you don't learn? So learning to be a man means that you have to get the right data, the right kind of information. Always have to learn you don't have to be a graduate but once you are the man of the of the family you are the head of the family the resource of the family has got a lot to do with you your wisdom your knowledge your understanding of life your courage is expressed your 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 the fun that you have around the house the disposition that you put up when there's a challenge, well, how do you behave? Are you calm or you're hysterical? So there's a lot that we have all got to learn as they say that we are men. And when any, any family, any society, that the men start to take their position, you see growth. You see development, you see prosperity, you see character being developed because they know that they are the men, they are the foundation of the, form, of the family. And this foundation, if you look at the building, the foundation is what? Or the root of a tall tree, the root goes into the soil to get the best of the nutrient, they provide the stability when there is wind, you know. The building has no has no strength un, unless the foundation is strong. And the essence of the foundation is what? Is to withstand external stresses and pressure. So if the man is the man, then no trouble in the family, no trouble that hits the family can overcome the family because the man is there. And you must know that he's a man. So poverty cannot overcome the family, sicknesses cannot overcome the family. Disagreement cannot overcome the family. Bankruptcy cannot overcome the family. Because the man will fight back. And he continue to fight back. Because he's a man. And so, if you're a young man, it's not just you trying to look for wife and spend all your money on how to do some, what they call wedding. You know. It's also learning how to be a man. Learning. Learning how to be a man. And it's not just natural. Maybe your father should have told you how to be one. Maybe the whole society should have told you how to be one. But if they didn't, it does not mean that you cannot learn it yourself. You can learn them by yourself. And it's doable. It's not strange. It's not difficult. It can be done. You just need information. And so... My name is Sobin Dalko. I am talking about learning to be a man, the duties of a man, especially the one who is saying that he is the head of the family. If you are the head of the family, there are duties for the head, there are responsibilities. It's not just you being the head. <laughs> it comes with a lot of troubles and challenges. Okay, and so. Um, it comes with a lot. You are the one to fight for the peace of the family. Your, your wisdom has to be expressed. The calmness 
in a woman has a lot to do with how you handle issues. Are you able to take the pressure and fight? Or when there's challenge, you go and run away. You tell the woman to go and fight. <laughs> it provides stability and confidence. You have to. You provide inspiration. You provide a vision. You provide the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. You protect the family from her the difficulties, challenges. You create the comfort. So it's not for small boys. They say that divorce is divorce, divorce, divorce. Divorce, divorce, divorce because the men were not taught to be men. A lot of them don't even know what it takes to be one. And they don't even know their responsibilities, their duties. They don't know. So they say that the divorce is divorce because the, the one who they say should lead it's very naive, it's ill-equipped. So there's a lot of frustration in the woman and in the children. And there is also a lot of frustration in the man himself because his father should have taught him and he couldn't find his father. His, his uncle should have taught him and he was brought up by the mother. And there is something about a man that a, only a man can bring out. Maybe in books or maybe somebody present helping him to be one. Because what it takes to raise a woman is really very different from what it takes to raise a man. The frustrations of a man is very a teen you look at teenagers, the, the what the man goes through is entirely different from what uh, uh, a girl would go through as a teenager. Even the boys, those around two, three, four, five, do you see the kind of energy in the boy? so much different from the kind of energy in a woman most of the girls are very calm you tell them to sit they will sit down you tell the boy to sit he won't sit <laughs> there's a lot of energy in him because he's a man his emotions are different his you know the hormones are different from the girl the way his mind works is different his aspirations are different the way he looks at life is different what is important to him is different as a man and so somebody should tell him and teach him how to be one. Or all his energy, he will use them wrongly. But he has a lot of energy. The boys have, do you see how they play football and sweat? They're just trying to let the energy go somewhere. And so if there was no father somewhere to help them to channel the energy rightly, they destroy themselves. And if they were brought by a woman because they get frustrated with the energy, they try to kill the energy. So by the time that the boy is calm, he has no fighting spirit. He can't fight. And yet, when he happens to have a family, he has to fight. And so, if they were brought up by the mothers, you see that he has no fighting spirit at all. No fire. No fire. Unless he start to re, you know, learn some of these things and know and 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 at least the, the fire. So you see that most men who are brought up by their mothers, you know, they a bit more reserved, calm. They don't want trouble. They want peace. They don't stand up for challenge. Even if somebody is coming to crash the, destroy the family, they're still looking for peace. The other ones who are brought up by fathers who were fighters, they will stand up. They will pick their knife. You cannot just take them for granted because they fight. If you're brought up well as a man, you will fight will not be the one who is looking for when there's trouble you will not you stand up and fight <laughs> you start up you fight that is if you were taught but if you're not taught you're just looking for peace and you're looking for the part that is predictable because the strength and the energy in you as a man was taken out nobody taught you now, to be a man, you have to be responsible. You have to be the one who will protect. You have to be the one who will provide for the family. You have to be the one who will provide the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. You provide the foundation for the family. When you are there, there is comfort. When they are, when you are, when you are there and you've been trained as a man, you are not the one beating the woman. 
No, you're not the one beating the children. You're not the one creating commotion. You're not the one, you know, you're, you, some, some, some families, every day the man is fighting the woman. Every day is drunk. It was not told. It was not taught. So he thinks that the woman in, in the life, in his life, is like a man. So he's the one boxing the woman. Because nobody told him. His duty is as a man. His duty is to preserve, is to protect, is to cherish, is to provide for those in, in, in his care. And he has got to do everything that he has to do to establish that. And it's in, it is in him to do that. If he stands up to anything, you see that it gets done. Because he's a man. That is if he was trained. If he was not trained, he goes and they fight him until he comes back home and he's crying. <laughs> because he was, was raised up by the mother. <laughs> There's no fighting spirit in him. So if you look well, you see that the boys were brought up by the father who was responsible, who was there, taught them how to be one. And who showed them how to take care of the family, how to take care of the, of the mother, how to take care of society. Those boys, they have it a little bit, you know, the character is under control. They don't become abusive of drugs or of another person. They, be, they have that strong sense of responsibility. They respect authority. They're able to do what is expected of them as men. Because somebody showed them. But majority of us, unfortunately, nobody was there to show, that, to show us. So we have to find those things ourselves. And that will come out of trouble not because he didn't have a father but probably he had his own issues or maybe nobody else also told him what and so he the little he knew he told you but a lot of it you could not even apply you know so now you have to identify the things yourself so now you have a family you have a wife and she's demanding all these things the children are looking up to you and say that what do you want me to do so once you can't do anything you go home and you you get some alcohol and you drink and you sleep <laughs> because nobody told you to be a man. To be a man, now wow, it's a fight. <laughs> it's a constant fight. You take the risk, you keep going. You fall, you get back up because you have responsibility. You know, some people are in your care. That's why when they say that you're going to marry, you see, you see, they want to give you your name to the woman. What do you think they are doing that? <laughs> and they give you, say, the children should take your name. Why are the children not taking the woman's name? I don't know if it's good. I don't know. But why? Why? There's a reason. Because you're the one to do that. You're the one to take up the challenge. You're the one to take the responsibility. So we can't cry. We can't weep. We can't give up. Even if they, nobody told us. We just have to find them ourselves and keep trying and keep pushing. And But I think that the awareness that there are some duties that are for you as a man and you have to learn them. And you don't, you don't just jump to become a man because you're 30 years or 40 years. If you didn't know, you can be 70 and you still don't know how to be a man. You can be 70 and you still be talking like a teenager. You still not be responsible for the duties <laughs> that make you a man. It's the nobby because you are not you may never be aware. For instance, if you were growing up in and you didn't know that the fork that they used to eat was for eating. And nobody told you. You don't know it. You can be eighty years, hundred years. And if nobody has told you, you still will not know the use of it. And so the fact that you are sixty or forty or thirty does not mean that you know the duties of a man. You don't know. And the more men know their duties, the more they can keep the hope. The more the divorces can come down. You know, because they, if they understand some things, I can tell you, there will be peace at home. Because you'll be able to keep the calmness, the stability. You'll not be the one arguing and fighting and boxing. Because you know that is your responsibility. No matter what they say, you'll still be there trying to make things work because you've been equipped with knowledge and knowledge is power. And the temperature at home is a matter of fact. You see, in our society, they try to push a lot of things on the woman. No. A lot 
of things must be on the man. The woman has enough problems. The woman has enough problems. So a lot must be on the man. So when you are when when they are making a wedding and they are saying paper, pay, pay, pay. <laughs> if I teach you know is that you have gone for trouble. You've gone for challenge, but it's not impossible. I think that is way easy. Easier when you are when you are aware and when you have the right information. After all, you are in together to solve and to face life together. But you must know that you as the man, if any if anything does not work, it's your responsibility. When there's trouble, it's yours. When there's challenge, it's yours. But when there's victory, it's for you, both, everybody. But when there is disaster, nobody can take the responsibility. But you, the man. Because every, everything falls, rises and falls on the leadership and what is the man. Okay, so if, the, if it's working, then all of you, you will take very well. But if it's not working, it's because you, the man, didn't make it work. And it's not by us, so that is the way life is. <laughs> That's the way life is. So once you condition yourself that way, it's like running a business. If you're the business leader and there are successes, everybody is part of the success. But when there's trouble, when there's bankruptcy, when there is challenge, everybody else can run away. But you, the leader, you cannot run away. You just have to be there and pick the pieces up and rebuild. Because you're the leader. But when there's success, everybody will jubilate and dance and say, that, oh, I did this, I did that. Yes, that's okay. And you can never be bitter, you cannot be offended, because when there's trouble, the leader must show up. You see, when you see, uh, when you go to any place where there's commotion, or there's something that they want to figure out, when there's problem, when they get there, they always ask for who is the leader. You don't see the leader so much when there is peace and when there is prosperity. Everybody takes ownership of that. You see the leader when there is failure, when there, is, when there are mistakes, when there are troubles. So you condition yourself that way. That once I'm the leader, once I'm the man here, if anything does not work in the family, it is my duty. It's my responsibility. But everything that works is for the glory of everybody. And you may not even be counted, and it doesn't matter. Because there are other ways that you are also recognized. You know, so, so being a man is not just because you were born with some apparatus. It comes with training. It comes with information. It comes with skill. It comes with some kind of uh, sense of duty. And you knowing what it takes to be a man. And to be a man, you must be the one who protects the family. You are the foundation of the family. If anything shakes, everybody looks up to you. And it has nothing to do with whether you have money or not. You just have to be there. Okay? And some people, because the women they make more money than them, they think that, why should a woman make more money than me? Make the money, yes, the man must make money, but there is more you can provide. If you want to provide, you can provide. Because their family does not live on a million. The family lives on thousands. You know, buying food and paying school fees is not a million. So you're still the man. And you are the one to support the vision of everybody. Support the vision, build everybody, build the confidence, provide the protection. In your hands, things become better because you're the man. Provide for the family. Provide the vision. Take the risk. You have to. And if it doesn't work, it should blame you. Nobody can be blamed if you don't know. You better get used to them, <laughs> especially, especially the young ones. They will blame you for it and never uh, be despair. Uh, never despair over that. That's the way life is. Who do you think if blame? Because <laughs> he is there. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.